everyone, welcome to our fourth and final installment on how we make a buckle. Today we're going to be talking about the finishing process. So when we last left off, we had engraved the buckle. The next step is to polish the buckle. So these are our polishing machines. Um, unfortunately, when they get turned on, the person actually stands right in front, so you can't see anything. Um, so that's why I'm not actually going to film it running today, but we add a little bit of our special polishing compound onto the wheel, turn it on, the wheel spins really fast, and um, you actually hold the buckle up against the wheel at varying angles and degrees to polish it, remove any um, dull spots or last minute oxide. Once the buckle is polished, we take it out into our cleaning room, we go through an ultrasonic cleaner and a steaming process to remove all of that compound so that you don't have any dirt stuck in the engraving or the lettering. After that, it goes to our clean room and gets lacquered, which I'm not going to show you today because um, it's very unsafe for me and my baby to be in the lacquer room, so <laughs> we're going to skip that part. Um, the protective coating is really important. It makes, uh, it makes sure that your buckle doesn't oxide or tarnish which means that you have very little maintenance. Um, wipe it with a soft cloth. If something gets stuck on there, you're just cleaning it with clean water, maybe a gentle cleanser if it's really stuck, and then you're good to go. So you don't need to worry about your buckle getting grungy over time. That being said, it's a relatively new process for us. We've only been doing it for about six years. So if you have a buckle older than that and it is getting grungy looking, it's part of our triple R lifetime guarantee. We will clean that buckle up and we can add the coating to it. So bring it to us, we'll give it a nice professional polish and clean again, and we'll add that coating and make it look good as new. So the next and final step is uh, to add a little paint into the lettering. So we've got the buckles from last week all shined up and lacquered and ready to go. So we're gonna head out to the front there and I'll show you how we add some paint in the letters. Okay, so this is the buckle from last week. It's been shined up. You can see everything is very glittery and clean and lovely except there's no color in the letters. So at this point, we would add either color in the letters or if you have a colored rim, we'd add that. Um, any of the black oxide accents, we'd add that as well. So we put it in with this syringe and a little tiny tip here. And there's a foot pedal that controls the air pressure. And we just fill the letters with whatever color you want. Most people use black, but we do have a variety of colors available to match corporate logos, club logos, or just your favorite color. Once we've filled all the applicable areas, it goes in a clean drawer and it sits overnight to make sure that the paint is absolutely dry before it leaves the shop. Once, it leaves, once it's dry, it goes through a final inspection to make sure that everything is as perfect as we can possibly get it and then it goes to you. So that's how we put the finishing touches on your buckle. I hope you enjoyed our video series and if you're looking for more sneak peeks of the shop, make sure to check out our Facebook page and watch our favorite Friday videos. So until next time, I hope you have a great weekend.